Live coverage with Dan Dickerson starts tonight, 6.45 on World Radio. First pitch scheduled for 7.10. Detroit Tigers baseball all season long brought to you by Superior Asphalt on World Radio. And, hey, don't forget, primary election night coverage continuing tonight during and immediately following the Tigers right here on World Radio. I have to ask, are you scared? I mean, I'm serious about this. Are you possibly horrified? <laughs> Are you? Huh? It feels like every time we hear one of these, I don't know about you, but every time we hear one of these swine flu, bird flu, West Nile, Zika is the latest, right? That it possibly... Like the thing that will turn us all into the zombies. It is the thing that is the stuff of movies, right? <laughs> I know, but look, here's the thing. There, there's like a, there's, I believe there's a balance between going overboard, getting completely freaked out. I remember when swine flu was came around. I went out and bought all the masks and all that stuff. I did, and I still got it. I still got it. And man, that thing got me bad, too. It really did. Uh, on the phone with us right now, Mosquito Steve to talk about this. I mean, there's a balance, right, Steve? There's a balance between really kind of going overboard, but also uh, being vigilant. You need to be aware. There's nothing wrong with knowing what's going on in the world, right? Uh, da, 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 be very afraid. <laughs> um, <laughs> right. It's, uh, now, actually, I don't think you guys need to worry about it up there. I don't believe that the Zika is going to get that far north, at least not this year. Um, you know, if it comes back. Okay, hold on. Wait a minute. Not problems. not this year. What do you mean? Steve, what do you mean not this year? We know <laughs> we, we just saw the latest. Uh, it, it is um, MosquitoSteve.com, by the way. The, the uh, you know, if anybody's going to know about this uh, this virus and the habits of uh, mosquitoes, it's going to be the guy named Mosquito Steve. Let, let me ask you, why? how did it get to Florida, and what do you mean when you say not this year? Is it a possibility that it does make its way up here? Well, there is a possibility that if, um, in fact, that it's more likely that somebody from up there will travel overseas, get the Zika virus, and come back, and then they'll have sex with somebody, and then that person will. And, and so if a mosquito bites them, they actually could carry the disease to one other person, but that's not going to make them, it's not going to break out into an, 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 an infectious situation. Okay, so... so um, so it's not like in Zika, I mean, like down in Florida, Zika, Zikaville, uh, down in Florida, um, that one square mile area, I mean, that's, you know, it's going to keep breeding in that area as long as people keep getting it and they go outside, they get bit by mosquitoes and there's more mosquitoes that have it. And yeah, it's just going to keep spreading there unless they can do something about it. And the pesticides aren't working very well. So. You know, okay, it's so not funny. I don't know why I'm laughing. You, you know, Miss Gittle, Steve, you're starting to freak me out here with the way you're laughing. It's just kind of an evil, maniacal laugh here. The way you're, you're la <laughs> laugh it, laugh it up, buddy. Uh, no, so well, so I do think it's setting up pretty well for you know the pesticide. The thing, mosquitoes become resistant very, very quick. Yeah, we've been doing the same pesticides for you know decades, and mm. it's not unlike. I mean, it's, that's very possible that they're become resistant to they become resistant to DEET, um, permethrin, pyrethrins. So that's why our repellent actually works on five different receptors on the mosquito. Just for that very reason. So, um, but what this does, hopefully, is this will make them open minded to try natural products so we're not spreading pesticides everywhere. Now, I just saw a report, and I think it was on Inside Edition or Entertainment Tonight. So, you know, the scientific, uh, the, the scientific research done on these programs, you know, you have to, you have to take it with a grain of salt. Um, but I did see they went to a place where these people study these mosquitoes, right? And these right. these reporters and and uh, and I think one of the producers, they each tried the different repellents that uh, that are on the market, these different sprays and things. And uh -huh. they then they stuck their hand inside this big kind of plastic, like plexiglass sort of box where. Thousands or hundreds of mosquitoes were inside. I thought, oh my god, you gotta be, you gotta be brave to be able to do that. 
And one of the guys sticks his arm in and he comes back out and he's got like hundreds of bites on him, uh, on his arm when, when he did this. What kind of, cr first of all, what kind of crazy person you have to be to do that? Are you that kind of crazy pe person? <laughs> Steve, do you, do you? I'm a little bit crazier because <laughs> the thing is the mosquitoes that they're raising in those plastic cages do uh -huh. not carry diseases. Yeah. And uh, they're different than the ones that are outdoors. They're yeah. not, the, the ones that are outdoors have, um, they've grown up in a harsher environment. Um, some of them have uh, survived the winter. And so they're a little bit different mosquito. And so that's why I do all my testing outdoors. I've, I've had as many, I've had more than 900 mosquito bites in one night. So, so I know what these people are going through. It's oh. not fun. But the interesting thing is those people put the repellent on and then they stuck their arms in and almost immediately they were getting attacked. That's actually how some of these products work that are on the market. They don't even give you immediate protection, much, much less for, you know, an hour or two. So I, and, and, and Steve, I have to ask what, what is the best way for me to stay protected against these mosquitoes if I'm going out? And I mean, for, first of all, Zika is one thing, you know, that that's one thing, but it's annoying yeah. when you're sitting out here in beautiful Michigan, I'm sitting by the lake and we got the fire going or something and we're hanging out ha having a few drinks and then I keep getting bit w or in my backyard, et cetera. What can I do to kind of, to, to make sure that I don't get, well, first of all, I will tell you, our repellent smells better than the other guys, so that's that's a big plus. So um, uh, as the women seem to like it anyway, so if you smell like that, they you might attract more women. Who knows? Isn't that something? So, uh, <laughs> but, uh, but our repellent, actually, I've tested it against, you know, all the major leading brands, including their deep woods versions and um, all the deep products, and, and it's actually uh, way more effective than those. <clears throat> and so that's the, what I would suggest is wear long sleeves, long pants. And I know that doesn't make sense. Down here in Texas, wearing long sleeves oh, no. and long pants means mm -hmm. you're a tourist. Well, let me tell you and something. So, Steve, this isn't, maybe this is, I don't know, maybe it's in your wheelhouse, but we went out fishing on the lake. Lake Michigan uh, last uh, last week, and we went out and for for my mother in law's birthday, and it was on her bucket list. She wanted to go get a charter boat and go out and do some fishing, and we did. And I'll be dang if the worst part of the whole thing, not the slosh sloshing around in the lake and all that, and getting uh, kind of a little bit seasick. It was the flies, man. The flies were swarming and biting. <laughs> oh my God, the fly. And then you had to keep moving because if the one landed on, they start biting and it. It was the worst thing in the world. These flies biting you out of nowhere. Uh, yes. Are they related to flies and the mosquitoes when it comes to this kind of thing? Because it's not only is annoying, but it can be painful. They, they can be painful. Yeah, yeah. You've got um, you've got those. Uh, there's there's different kinds of biting flies. They've got them in different parts of the country. But yes, ours is our repellent actually repels those flies. Really? What I would recommend in a case like that is um, we you know we have some some area flamethrower things. I would use those to get the flies out oh. of there to get them out of the way. I can't stand the flies. I, how about Oof. going to a restaurant? You're trying to have dinner, and there's flies all over. The and place. you know where they've been landing too? Those flies. I will tell you about the the long pants and the long sleeves, though. This is the interesting thing you brought up. I noticed that the most the guy that was helping us out on the boat, the most experienced fisherman, was in long pants and long sleeves. There you go. I yeah. said to myself, and then you just have to spray like your neck and you know your your hands and stuff. And so it, that really is smart. If you're going to be outdoors all day, if you're just going out for a little bit, then that's not necessary. But so you know, it only takes one bite. I mean, I don't know. You know, West Nile virus may not have reached up there yet, but it's no, it's pretty didn't. strong here in North Texas. Yeah, it only takes one bite. That's it. We've had some, we definitely have had some cases reported uh, here with, with our health department. We we have seen some ones. Now, nothing, they're still testing. They're looking at Zika, obviously. Um, you know, you said, and, and I think it's important to bring this up. Uh, Mosquito Steve on the phone with us right now, MosquitoSteve.com. Steve is studying these. Oh, man, I can't think of a worse thing to study, Steve. Hats off to you, I guess. Uh, I hate the things. But now you're studying these, and what is the what is the reason? Because we just got the report yesterday. In this Wynwood neighborhood, you called it the Zikaville down there in Miami. It's kind of like Zika Village down there. In this neighborhood, this is where most of these cases are. Is it something about the environment there that these mosquitoes and, and the Zika has been able to thrive? 
No, what it here's what it is. Yes, I mean there definitely is something to it because they have a lot of mosquitoes in Florida. Obviously, oh god, the bugs down land. there are like as big as pterodactyls. I used to live down in Florida. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. The the environment has something to do with it, but they've also had they've got a lot more people that travel overseas down there. There's a lot of foreigners living in that area, and so um, so they're traveling over to see their relatives and bringing it back. And and one of the things, you know, the the CDC uh, just a month ago. I was saying, hey, you know, you need to withhold sex for a week. Well, but which I mean, is even more torture. It's been a week, and now it's two weeks. <laughs> so, um, so part of it is, is we're still learning about this oh. deal. <laughs> Well, Isn't that great? We're learning on the job. And I saw that they, the the one thing that I did see about this is that they came out and said, don't even plan on having kids for for how long was it? A couple of months. Oh, oh wow. Yeah, yeah, that's uh, so. It takes about it actually takes about two weeks for it to get out of the system, uh, is what they're saying now. So, um, but you know, I don't know that I would trust that at this point um, because the information is changing so rapidly. I do think this little infectious area that we've got right now in Miami is probably going to we're going to learn a lot through this, just like we're learning about the pesticides now. They're they're just now reporting that they're not working so well. So so uh, we're going to be learning a lot through this process mosquito steve let me ask you and then then we'll let you we we know you got a plenty of research you got to do there let me ask you though <laughs> what, what is it because a lot of people are getting freaked out about this zika but it, it's only carried by a certain type of mosquito is is this is this correct Yes, and that's why um, it's not likely to get up there. The 80s Aegypti and 80s Albopictus, um, they're uh, beautiful little black and white mosquitoes. You called a mosquito beautiful. They, they really are gorgeous. <laughs> they are. What so, is, what is wrong they, with you? Somebody ought to research you, <laughs> Mosquito Steve. What? <laughs> what in the world? Oh. It explains why I'm single. I know, I know. That's I'm, I'm the oldest living, never been oh. a single heterosexual guy. Well, maybe you ought to use more of that stuff on yourself that the women like, right? More, more of your potion. <laughs> No, I tend to repel women too. As soon as I start my my mosquito stories, they they uh, they run. Yeah. Oh, um, so, so these these particular anyways, mosquitoes the, don't, the they 80s, don't live up here. The eighties don't are aren't going to probably get up that far north. But here's what we do know: there are Culex species that can carry the virus. So there is a possibility if somebody up there has Zika mm. that um, that somebody else could get it from a mosquito. It is mm. possible. It's just not as likely. And I would be more more worried about West Nile virus because it's much more dangerous. It's it's uh, I mean that it'll affect more people. It'll kill more people in the United States this year than Zika. Right, so there you go. Don't worry about the Zika. Worry about something else that another mosquito right. might bring. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and chicken dunya and dengue fever and what else? <laughs> this is great. I'm just I'm excited. Indoors. So you're just telling me to get a bubble, basically a big plastic bubble, uh, Steve. I should just walk around in that all day long. <laughs> it, now that will repel women. That, I know. That, the boy <laughs> in the bubble. The boy in the bubble. There you go. So yeah. what? All right. Last last but not least, what about these folks that are over in uh, Brazil right now at the Olympics? One of our producers earlier said he'd rather stick his head in his own toilet than put his head underneath the water in Brazil because the water's been talked about now. You know, obviously Zika with mosquitoes being a big. Uh, issue down there. What are they worried about? What are they concerned about when it comes to the uh, the athletes and, and the other folks that are visiting? I think I'd be more worried about crime down there. <clears throat> I mean, there's, uh, you hear about the Australian uh, one of the, one of the Australian teams went out for dinner and came back. All their or all their computers were gone. I mean, it's uh, there's the crime is what you worry about down there. But the deal is seriously. Uh, I would suggest they're telling them to wear deep, and they've probably sent a whole bunch of deep down there with them. Um, what I would do if I'm going down there is I would take a repellent that is more effective than deep because deep wears down in about 45 minutes in every single case that I have tested. Is deep the so, one that causes that that had was linked to cancer? Or two? Is it the same one? Well, there, uh, there's. I mean, all of the pesticides are linked. They are carcinogens. Almost every single one of them. So, uh, so there, there's going to be some linkage there. But um, those are big, big companies. So I got to be careful what I say because. 
<laughs> I see. They'll stay about we got little guys like me really, really fast. Then I have more to worry about than mosquitoes, for sure. All right, get the tinfoil uh, hat out. Uh, d- doctor, uh, here we go. We, uh, there you go. <laughs> we're fired it up. <laughs> Mosquito Steve, uh, I appreciate you being on with us today. And uh, you, you again have this... Uh, this kind of uh, this kind of potion or lotion that people can go ahead and uh, slosh on themselves there what, that that does the trick you say what what's it called? Well, it's mosquito Steve uh, repellent. Mm-hmm. And what right is on repellent? What what I mean, obviously can't give it all away, but what's what is what's in that thing? It's essential oil. So it's uh, so I mean, you got some a uh, little bit of vanillin, some geranium, some thyme oil, some cedar leaf, and cedar. Um, uh, cedar wood oil, so cedar. it smells really, really nice. And if you get the yard spray, it makes your whole yard smell nice. Um, and that gets rid of the, per, you know, the most of the mosquitoes if you do the yard spray. So um, okay, so, so we we're all kinds of solutions. We're laughing it up. We're having a good time here. But I will say this, Steve, without without being, uh, you know, without looking at the research on your stuff and all that, I'll say that I'll say this. They had to have a way of dealing with this. The mosquitoes have been around for years and years and years, thousands of years, millions of years, whatever it is, right? They've had to have a way to deal with these things, the, the Native Americans, the Native people, right? They had to have a way to deal with it. So that oil idea sounds like it could be a good one. Well, it actually is, and it's what ours is a combination. Here's what happens: as the oils evaporate off your body, then as one evaporates off, then the next one takes over. That's why we have the combination of essential oils instead of just one or two essential oils, and that's why ours has the long-lasting effects. So, um, and and the thing is, this is it's really critical, you know, that nobody else is doing the testing like I'm doing, and it really is important because a, a, a few that's raised in a lab is not. The same as one outdoors. MosquitoSteve.com. Thank you, Mosquito Steve, for joining us today. Good luck with the woman. And uh, if you want us to send some women <laughs> your way. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to head up there. Y'all can introduce me around. How about that? Anytime, you're more than welcome up in West Michigan. We've got the, uh, we really have a, a wonderful area up here. I know that North Texas is beautiful too, but come on up. You're welcome anytime. Just leave the mosquitoes at home, Steve. <laughs> <Thank> <laughs> they don't travel well. Thanks, Mosquito Steve.